so this is my new protective style. These are crochet braids. I just finished them. Um, I didn't do a video on how I installed it, but I installed it the same way that I did my mom's crochet kinky twist. The only difference was the braid pattern. So with this braid pattern here, and I think I have a picture of it. Um, if I do, I'll insert it. But what I did was I braided two, four, six, eight, about ten small braids going straight back to mid midway. And then I took two braids and connected them as into one and did one cornrow. So I think it was only one braid that I had to create here because I didn't want my braids fat in the back that wasn't connected. So for every two cornrows, let's see if I can do it this way. For every two cornrows I did on the side, it comes with one braid. Okay? That's how I braided my hair. Of course, I used this crochet hook that I got from the hair store. This was about like 99 cents. Um, and the hair that I used is Model Model or Model Model, how we like to say it glance braid and the style is water wave and a color 1b i don't know if you can see the picture and i paid four dollars and 99 cents for this i used two and less than a half pack um and this is what the hell it looks like it's really really big i don't know what it's going to look like as it gets older um and this is what it looks like in the middle And I also have it where it's a, I can do like a middle part. So the hair that I used here, the pieces are really close together. I tried to get them as close. This side is a little better than this side, but I tried to get them as close together as possible. So if I want to wear my hair middle, I can. And then the same with this side, I might have to go in and fill in some more, but I did as tight as possible. And then I can also do a middle, or I mean a side part, this way. Okay, so I think I'm going to wear it this way today, I don't know. Or was it the other way? Doesn't matter, let's leave it in the middle. Um, yeah, so this really didn't take me too long to do. I kind of wanted to switch up from my U-part wig. I was having trouble, a lot of trouble blending the hair um and it started to me it started to look fake i mean like not fake but you can tell the difference between my hair and the um for kink um heat free hair that i had so i was like let me try something different took my wig i undid my braids i washed deep conditioned washed and deep conditioned my hair and i was like let me do something different so i air dried with my hair while it was stretched and then I decided that I was going to do the crochet braid since I had the hair in my house for so long. And um, that's what I did. And the back still needs a little work. I'm not ready to wear it up yet, but I will show you all what it looks like. Because this hair, it can be worn in a ponytail. But you can see kind of like the brown in my hair. Okay. I installed this. Um, I started last night. And I pretty much slept with it up like this, I guess, in the pineapple. So I pulled all the hair up, and then I used um, one of my big 1980s scrunchies. I don't have it in here right now, so I can't show you. And I just put it on top of there, like so, put on my bonnet, and went to sleep. And when I woke up this morning, I just took the hair down, shook it out a little bit. I don't know what products I'll be using on this hair to keep the curl. It's a little frizzy in some spaces, some places. Um, the Shea Moisture Restorative conditioner um i've used on certain pieces that was really 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 frizzy so what i did was i just spritzed the piece of hair with water took a little bit of the conditioner and i just you know was just rubbing it through rubbing it through rubbing it through until it kind of meshed in um can't really say a review on this hair it didn't tangle um while i was installing it it did have like this waxy film over it in some um other hair that I used and I thought it was maybe like one bad pack but I checked the other packs and it, it's the same this hair is synthetic 
So that's probably what they put on it to keep it in its curly state. So I was separating it. I don't think I have any now, but there were some white areas um, that, I, that you've seen. So I just spritzed it with water and put the conditioner on to get the white spots out. Um, and let me just show you all what it looks like in the back. From the top. So, it is a lot of hair. Um, I might go in and take some of the hair, to take some hair out. In the back, um, they're spaced about maybe one finger width apart. Not sure if you can really see that, but that's how I did it. So yeah, so my goal right now is to keep this style in for at least two weeks. If I can stretch it to a month, that is excellent. Um, let me know if you have any questions. What do you think about this hair? Um, I'm going to have to get used to it being so big. I am not used to big hair. Um, and I know it looks a little uneven and it should be shaped but I am not good with the scissors so I'm probably not going to shape this up to fit my face or anything like that um and then this is what it would look like if I wear it back I didn't want to start my braids all the way at my edges because I didn't want to be tugging on that part of my hair I don't want my edges to fall out so it doesn't bother me that the um the crochet starts further to the back but this is what it would look like if I want to wear it back. And I don't know what's going on with this piece. I might just cut it. Because it's just like, has a mind of its own right now. Alright, so let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. If you would like for me to do a tutorial on how I achieve this style, let me know. The next time I install a crochet braid, I'll try to come up with um, a tutorial. I can't really think of anything else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Bye.